My name is Patrick Hosted. I'm the head of Geomatics Lab at Humboldt University in Berlin, in Germany. These global changes that we are seeing today, this is something we can only get a grip on with remote sensing data, and that's why Landsat comes into play with its unique long-term archive. The long archive really helps us to get an idea about uh, decadal changes, and there's no other opportunity to have that information from other data sets. I really believe that uh, Landsat data made a change in terms of how we perceive global change. All the things that we have done so far would not have been possible without a unique Landsat data set. For the first time, at a resolution between 10 and 30 meters, we get a better idea on how phenology can be characterized from space-borne satellite data. And that again is so important for understanding how the Earth system changes. So may it be land use, may it be uh, natural catastrophes, may it be um, precision agriculture. All of those processes crucially depend on how phenology can be captured with space-borne data. And with that constellation of uh, two Landsats at the moment, and two Sentinel-2s in space, this is unique and we are really leapfrogging towards a time where we can get much better information on phenology from space. Me personally, I'm a member of the um, Science Advisory Group for the Environmental Mapping and Analysis Program of the German mission that will hopefully be in space soon, where we will have hyperspectral spaceborne data at our fingertips, so we can learn from that and better understand what the high spectral resolution will uh, bring to us in terms of uh, opportunities to analyze data even in a more detailed way than we can do up to now. The other thing is that with a um, space-borne hyperspectral imager, um, we are in the position to basically simulate all kinds of data sets that are there, be it Landsat, be it Sentinel-2 or other sensors. So the unique opportunity is there to create, for example, global spectral libraries that we can then use for analyzing data from any kind of system. Much of the research that we do in terms of time series analysis was inspired and uh, was supported by new insights from these team meetings and discussions that I had with all the team members were really something that brought us forward. What I hope for is missions that will be in space in the future really interact nicely among the different ones. So having not just a focus on one mission, but having a focus on uh, constellations, so bringing data sets together and make it accessible to a broader user community, I think that's, that's what we are all hoping for. And for the first time in the uh, last three decades, uh, I would say that we are at the point that this will become true with all these intensive uh, uh, collaborations across the agencies, across the Atlantic, um, this is something that I'm really looking forward to for the next few years.